Hi, my name is Coco with BlackFilm.com, and I'm here with Connor Shannon and Noah Allen, and we're here to discuss Prime Video's Cosmic Love, which debuts on August 12th. Thank you so much for joining me, fellas. No of problem. What the heck do you two need Cosmic Love for? You, you have no problem. <laughs> Up in, this, in these streets? What are you talking about? <laughs> is it that bad out there, guys? Oh, well, it's always that bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I want to... I'm gonna start with you, Noah. Um, you know, you kind of initially made a choice just based on, on just attraction, which is something that we all tend to do. But you were able to sort of admit whether or not that was the right thing to do in that moment. You know, um, what made you? <laughs> <laughs> he got, he got not to do it. He did it anyway. Yeah. Well, you were told. To <laughs> For me, I had to like. I'm always gonna go with what I feel is right at first. I'm, mm -hmm. I'll, Went into the show not really believing in astrology. So I'm like, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> like I date girls that here and there every once in a while. <laughs> been too busy with my everyday life and trying to succeed and be successful in my business and be successful in improving myself. So not having enough time to actually date and really get to know women. And mm -hmm. it was always a challenge. So now being on the show, you have nothing but time at this point. At mm -hmm. this point. And having astrology help guide us. Um, at first, I didn't like believe it, like I said. So <laughs> I just went with my gut. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. But when she proved me wrong, when the, when yeah. the Astro Twins and the Astro mm -hmm. Chamber proved me wrong, it was like, whoa, maybe they do what they're talking about. <laughs> they said, mm -hmm. no, do not go for your usual type. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what about you, Connor? What kind of um, faith did you have in astrology um, um, before this? Um, I feel like I've kind of, especially as, uh, as a guy who's interested in astrology, it's, that's more rare. So I've been like, not just like the poster child for dude astrology, but like everyone's been like, bro, how do you know so much about this? And I was kind of getting into it a year before uh, the, the kind of experiment happened. So mm -hmm. I already knew my moon, my rising sign, and I knew some of my major house placements. And and so like everyone was kind of like, what are you doing this for? And I was like, I've, I've always found it interesting. So I was mm -hmm. more of a believer in astrology than, than most were on the show going into it and had a had probably a bit more knowledge than most. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, what the show points out that's also important is it's one thing to know your sun sign, mm -hmm. but when the Astro Twins are talking about, like you said, those placements and kind of really knowing when you were born, time and date, uh, right. city, things like that. I think that's something where I can believe that astrology has a little bit more of a, it's almost, I can argue that it's close to a science in that sense. I know some people don't like that, but um, I, can, I can see where, where that would be headed. So um, again, with the show, I mean, it, you have to showcase so much vulnerability here, guys, because you're making these decisions and you could potentially even be hurting somebody's feelings when you're making oh, those yeah. decisions. Yeah. In some cases, some people really wanted things to go a certain kind of way. Um, what was that, that process like? Because not everybody kind of got their way, you know, and sometimes that might've been because you guys, you know, weren't yeah. able to make that happen. So I'll, I'll, I'll flip it back to, um, to, to you, Noel. Um, yeah, for sure. That definitely happened a lot. And being a Pisces, I'm very intuitive. So like having mm -hmm. all that type of energy around me was difficult at times, but like the Astro Chamber, like the Astro Twins and the Astro Chamber mm -hmm. from the perspective, like you're here for you. You're not here mm -hmm. for them. So you had a really, I had to really step back and instead of like, oh my God, I want to make sure they're okay. I have mm. to really think about myself and like what I came on the show for and to find my love and to figure out who I, well, I knew who I was, but to get mm -hmm. to know even more and figure out what I'm looking for in a partner and see if I could find that on the show. Mm -hmm. You bring up a very good point though, too, because as you were saying with Pisces, there's this expectation that Pisces are are intuitive, right? Or they're yeah. particularly yeah. sensitive. Not like, can not cancer is sensitive, cancer. but, oh, you know, <laughs> you know <laughs> not that bad, you know, like why is he crying right now? <laughs> it's just an interview. <laughs> Um, no, but um, Connor, what would you say to that too? Because Connor, you know, a lot of people kind of dig into Gemini's, man. Like you guys don't have- <laughs> Everybody, Everybody's hating on Gemini. I uh, know, you don't have the best rep out in these streets. So I, I do wonder how that feels when you kind of have to like leave with, whoa, I'm not that dude, I promise. Yeah. Or no, Usually you? everyone's like, uh, if anybody's into a strong, they're like, so what's your sign? And you're like, I'm a Gemini. And then like, all right, I'll talk to you later. I gotta go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, my dog's on fire. I got to get back to the house. Um, but no, I, I think it was great to kind of showcase the fact that a lot of people don't dig deeper into their natal charts. And so like Noel's a Pisces, but sometimes he's not super emotional and maybe he's more logistical and like, uh, Maybe he has some air signs in certain placements and like I yeah. have a lot of earth in my chart. Mm. So 
I'm airy, but I'm also really grounded in the sense that mm-hmm. like, I also don't like hurting people's feelings. I don't like getting serious. And like, that's the classical Gemini thing where like, at first I'm like, hey, let's talk about nothing. And we're not going to get into this very much. And like, I'm defining this because that would be scary for me as an air sign to make a commitment. But mm. past that, like, yeah. I, and, <laughs> it's like, look, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Like that. like classic Gemini. That's why nobody Gemini. likes you. I'm listening. But once you get past like, uh, like Noel said, it was it was still a struggle because you're with these people and you get to know them and, and you're getting super connected and you're kind of finding more out and you're like, God damn, I'm starting to like these people. And like, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, no, it's true. It hurts to let them go. And like it, it, it even like watching him go through struggles and him watching me go through struggles, like we're feeling kind of each other's pain in that sense that like we all know what we're going through. But I mm-hmm. think that was the beauties of the experiment is like that's what brought us closer together mm-hmm. and that's why we'll be like friends for life is because like nobody else is going to understand what I went through except for maybe Noel. Yeah. Yes, and- that's oh I love that. Yeah. And that's true. It's it's such a unique um experiment. It's not it's not like any of these other shows that are on right now. Right. You yeah. know? And then they're not like you know beating people up or anything, which is good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need a break from that type of stuff for real. Yeah. <laughs> um so again, you know, we're talking about these different signs. So um, when you when you think even about your platonic relationships, do you think about that too? Like, I don't have time for these Libras out here. Everything, <laughs> you never pick, I'm a Libra. They're like, you never yeah. pick a side about anything. <laughs> <laughs> Libra, we're good. You, you know what I'm saying? Chilling, like, you know, no problem. Yeah, one of my really, really good friends, um, uh, she, you know, was a Gemini and it was hilarious. We would get along so, so well. Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, you know, we, we joke about that, but, um, we never had issues, you know, because Libras yeah. tend to kind of be uh, agreeable. I mean that in the best way. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So wait a minute. What what are you what are you guys' rising signs? Mine's is a Sagittarius. I'm a Libra. I'm, oh, so you're the Libra. Okay. And you know, what's your moon sign? Taurus. Taurus. Both of you. Yeah. Interesting. So my I'm a Libra. My rising is Leo. And then my moon is Sagittarius. So that's kind of like a Oh, oh, an interest. I, I, you could tell I like to have fun. Let's just say. Right. Yeah. You got to so all the elements. Yeah. There. I, I, I could kind of, you know, I, I when I like, I like to get along with people too. So that's why interviewing has always been sort of. Um, I can confidently claim in my wheelhouse. Nothing goes to yeah, that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I also wanted to say, like, I know with both of you guys, I just wanted to shout out your hometowns. Um, you know, Noel, I know you're from Gunnenberg, New Jersey, yeah. and then Connor, I know you're from Plymouth, Michigan. But then you guys don't live in your hometowns anymore. So what right. has that transition been like? Like now you guys get to like, you're about to step outside here and be the, probably the most popular people in your hometown. How are you, how is everybody <laughs> like all your old pals? How are they receiving this? Um, I've actually received a lot of support from a lot of high school Good. classmates. I yeah. haven't really talked to in a, in a while, unfortunately, because of COVID and everything happened. We didn't get to mm. do our year classroom reunion, um, but they seem very supportive and I'm very thankful for that. Mm-hmm. Um, being in a tri-state area, because um, not many people know this. It's Gunnberg, New Jersey, is legitimately between the Lincoln Tunnel and George Washington Bridge. Mm-hmm. So I'm five minutes outside the city. No, mm-hmm. yeah. So like, city life has always been um, a huge part of my life. Um, mm-hmm. kind of actually, being in the wilderness and the wilderness man. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I was like, how interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's been a little different. Like, I just kind of got into the social media game in the sense mm-hmm. of like, started Instagram last year and. Don't have a Twitter, don't have a TikTok, don't have like I, I had Facebook for my mom so she could tag me in pictures, but like uh, I not really want it. But um, so nobody really even most of the people that I grew up with in my hometown don't really know except for like my maybe five to ten close friends. So they'll so, be like, Why is Connor on TV right yeah, now? Yeah, <laughs> like, I saw a dude who looked like you on a show, and I'm like, I, I don't know who that was. That was <laughs> It wasn't me at all. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but no, I think it's interesting because as you guys, uh, when the show um, premieres and people start to recognize you, like it's going to be one of those things where, you know, you're at the grocery store and it's like, is that, you know, is that Connor Noel that traded out? You know, so <laughs> people are just going to start seeing you. So I wonder how you prepared yourself for the idea that, you know, there's a level of, I mean, you guys, I mean, there's obviously you've been doing press runs. But there's a level of anonymity that you can't get back. Is is that scary? Um, yeah, honestly, that's mm-hmm. been one of the biggest things why for the last couple of months I've really been chilling out, not really posting mm-hmm. too much, relaxing, mm-hmm. because just enjoying my privacy while I still last. Mm-hmm. Um, when everything comes out, I really feel like the show is gonna be really, really big. It hasn't been done before. 
Um, the cast was amazing. Um, production was amazing. The Astro Tims were the best things ever. Like they right. things of that I was like, how the hell would you know that? Yep. It was like, <laughs> and it's just like no one would know that. And mm -hmm. then just being out there and being vulnerable and like allowing people to really get to see who we are as people and not just who we present ourselves as, like right. the vulnerable aspects, like falling in love. The deeper unfortunate parts that most people don't know when you yeah. start looking like, oh, you got your Mars and Gemini? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> no, but um, I, I truly enjoy the show. I, I, I love it. I've been watching it. And um, it, it, is, it is really interesting and captivating because like I said, it's, it's, it's a dating show, but the experiment itself is just so interesting how it's being done. So it makes people have to be very reflective about their own lives. So I, I do appreciate that you guys, yeah. I think y'all did a good thing. Hey, thank you. <laughs> you know, huge tool to use. <laughs> like if, if people start doing that more often and kind of get more into astrology and I'm not saying it's gonna solve dating. Right, the, right, right. Certain people <laughs> are still gonna chase after uh, people that they aren't compatible with just because of yeah. what I see. And that's fine, like I've mm -hmm. all been there. Yeah. But like, if you can be, if everyone kind of knows more about themselves and, and more about their natal chart and like certain placements, mm -hmm. and look at other placements, it's kind of like, hey, we could probably avoid a huge heartbreak or like time waster down the road by checking in real quick at the yeah. beginning and being like, hey, what, what do you like? And it's a lot like just being upfront about it in general, mm -hmm. but it just goes deeper. So it's exactly. Well, what I liked about um, that particular, um, just sort of that moment too, is that, you know, like we were saying before, again, you know, there are people that you're just not compatible with, but it allows people to realize like there really kind of are red flags, even in the smallest, smallest moments. Mm -hmm. And you just can't be giving people excuses because they're cute. You're yeah. Like you really at some point have to know like this person is really not for me or not right now anyway. So those are very mature things that one can look at and not just say like, oh, well, I don't care, you know, yeah. she's hot, you know, so that's good yeah, that you no, did that. 100%. And that's how it is. <laughs> but thank God in my chart, I like beauty and um, mm. No, uh, I'm sure that's in your chart. Bro. It is in my chart. <laughs> well, you watch the show. You have actual sense talking about. It. <laughs> watch the show. <laughs> no, that, no, that's great. The big thing right there, having the both beauty and personality can just be one or the other. It has to be both for me personally, but mm -hmm. for everyone, I feel like if you can't be able to sit down, have a conversation, yeah. and enjoy that person, you can't build a lasting relationship. Like, build a last relationship. This is, um, guys. Also, uh, this is one of the first things he said. I'm not giving nothing away. But Noel said he was a butt man. I said, this man is 12 <laughs> minutes in this house. Just throw that out there. Noel, Noel, Noel has never hidden up with anybody. I'm pretty sure I introduced myself to him. And he goes, Noel Allen, butt man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know <laughs> oh my gosh no but it's it's been really great to talk to you guys and and i wish you much much success with this um i just want to before we go um is there anything else that you're working on that you want to shout out i know you both individually oh, like you have your businesses and mm -hmm. i don't have a business but uh, ahead, bro. <laughs> so but you perfect. have some business <laughs> yeah. Yeah, up. maybe we'll see so I'm a <laughs> and nutrition mm -hmm. coach and mm -hmm. i'm actually starting an app to move on to online aspect of personal mm -hmm website so all that's coming out i just want to help as many people as possible transform their body transform their minds Good. and live a lifestyle so this is a lifestyle for you you're not just saying yeah. that he's not but you know some people some people work out they like they like to look good for themselves but you want to yeah. help everybody else that's that's a very that's also to it as well mm -hmm. all around so much better mm -hmm. that's a terrific cause well well you both like i said are easy on the eyes so <laughs> they're not gonna have any problem watching this show it has been uh an incredible pleasure talking to both of you my name is coco with blackfilm.com and i'm here with connor shannon and noah allen and we were here to discuss prime videos cosmic love a really really cool twist um to a dating show here and you get to know a little bit more about the signs and it'll make you start probably looking into your compatibility whether that like i said it could be platonic or it could be romantic but some of this stuff it's, it really can inform some of the things that you might decide to do in the future. And remember, guys, it's on Prime Video and it debuts on August 12th. Check August it out. 12th. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank I'm going to call you guys my friends now. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got he, Instagram now. He, so he I goes in jail. Oh, now he has it. Okay, good. You know, Connor, you got to step it up. You got to be a little more I'm on. Fine. I got like your... 30 posts right now. Um, maybe I'll get to like 32. <laughs> <laughs> get, get your TikTok dances together, okay? Sure. <laughs> uh, I know. If you want to see more content like this on blackfilm.com, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell.